What's up everybody, Brian Inskip here with Surf Homes NC, back again to show you what's going up, what's going down, and where things are at in the Oak Island real estate market. This is a special episode with our 2023 recap where we take a look at the whole year. Right now today we're out on Davis Canal, just up from the kayak launch uh, by the Oak Island Recreation Center where we recently launched doing our epic Oak Island kayak video. So if you haven't checked that video out, be sure to give that a watch. It was an awesome trip, an awesome day, a lot of fun. I think you're gonna really like that video. And be sure to subscribe because right now we're doing a yearly recap, but I do these market update videos for Oak Island every single month. So if you wanna keep track of the real estate market throughout the year, hit that subscribe button. You'll get those market updates as well as all the lifestyle videos that we do as we explore and have fun here on Oak Island. Make sure you watch to the end of this video because at the end I'm going to give you my top three property picks of homes that are for sale on Oak Island right now. But that's enough talk. Let's dig into these market numbers. This is your January 2024 year-end update and review for Oak Island real estate. <music> numbers are in and so now we can say for sure where things are at on Oak Island for the year of 2023. The first thing we always talk about in these market updates is where sales prices are at. So the average sales price on Oak Island for 2023 actually decreased 1.4% now that we've got all the numbers in for the year. We're currently sitting just under 609,000 as an average sales price on the island, which is still right at the highest value ever on the island so properties are still selling for the highest value ever but we did see just a little drop throughout the year uh, but when we talk about the average price per square foot you're going to see that that doesn't mean that home prices have declined so stay tuned for that next stat the median sales price actually increased 1.6 percent for the year sitting right at five hundred forty eight thousand five hundred dollars now the average price per square foot, when we combine this with the average sales price, average price per square foot for 2023 increased 3.2%. What that means is that existing homes on the island, you're sitting at $404 a square foot, which is the highest ever for price per square foot on Oak Island. Meaning if you've got an existing property, property values have never been higher. That average sales price even though that decreased, that could lead you to believe that prices went down. Not really the case. What that's indicating is more the types of properties. So we sold a few more homes this year that were in that lower price category than the higher price category. And that's what's driving that stat. So when we look at this average price per square foot, we can know that the actual value of existing property on Oak Island has never been higher and overall for the year increased 3.2%. The average percent of the last asking price on a property to the ultimate sales price stayed really flat throughout the year in 2023 with a decrease of just 0.6%. So right now we're sitting at a 97.5% final asking price to sales price on Oak Island right now. So that means whatever that last listing price is you can expect to on average get 97.5 percent of that uh, when you go under contract the next set of stats that we want to look at has to do with the supply and demand of homes on oak island right now so overall for the year new listings on oak island dropped 51.2 percent so over half that is a huge drop in the number of new listings that we saw hit the market throughout the year in 2023 that's actually the lowest that it's been in any recent history at least for the past 20 years so that's a huge huge drop in the number of homes that are actually being listed for sale on oak island next stat same story pending sales dropped 37 percent throughout the year that's another huge drop and directly correlated to the lack of new listings that we saw and the decrease there. If you've got less homes coming on the market, naturally you're going to have less homes that are going under contract and selling. That is at a all time low going back all the way to around the 2004 time period. Closed sales followed suit and dropped 43.4%, which is the lowest since 2012. So we sold 
the fewest amount of homes this past year in 2023 than 2012 comparing it to that and that's reaching an, an all-time low as well and again is directly correlated to the number of homes that are actually coming on the market and available for buyers right now so that's a huge drop that indicates that if you've been thinking of selling a property you've been watching property values you're trying to time the market right now might be a really good time to consider that because we're still at really low inventory levels and again we're seeing prices as high as they've ever been on oak island and we're coming off a year where things uh stayed relatively flat in terms of pricing the next thing we look at is the real estate activity that's going on in the market and i want to start by talking about the homes for sale on oak island so over 2023 we saw a decrease of 6.3 percent Again, that's the lowest we've seen since 2004. That means that's the number of homes that are actually listed for sale at any given time in the market. An another drop there. So that means that even though we saw huge drops in new listings, the home for sale was not nearly at that level. So properties are still being sold even with the, the lack of inventory. So we're starting to build that inventory a little bit, but not substantially. One thing contributing to that is the average days on market, which we definitely saw a big change here throughout 2023. Prior to that, homes had been selling in just a matter of days, uh, week tops in most cases. This year we saw a 86.1% increase in the average number of days it takes for a property to sell or go under contract. So right now we're sitting at 67 uh, days on market as an average for properties that are sold on Oak Island, which is really uh, historically a pretty average number. We're, we're middle of the road on that. We've seen definite lower numbers uh, dating back to 2001 through late 2022, but we're still well below pre-2001 levels in how long it takes to sell a property on Oak Island. So in these year-end updates, we like to take that little bit of historical perspective and mix in with it. Next key stat that we look at is the month's supply of homes for sale. That is how many homes relative to the rate of sale are on the market right now. Throughout 2023, we saw a 27.3% increase. So we're sitting right now at 2.8 months worth of inventory. That means if no new homes came on the market, which kind of feels like that's been happening over the last year, but if no new homes came on the market, it would take 2.8 months to sell everything if no new homes came on the market at the current rate of sale. So anything under three months worth of inventory is definitely still considered a seller's market. So we've been in that for the last several years and we're still in it as we roll into 2024. Now we're gonna roll into a couple other key stats that I like to pay attention to, starting with the total dollar volume of closed real estate. So we saw a 44.2% decrease in the total dollar volume of real estate sold on Oak Island in 2023. What's interesting about that is we, we know that we saw fewer closed sales, decreases in the number of sales, but the dollar volume didn't decrease at the same percentage because we did see appreciation. So if fewer homes are selling, but they're selling at a higher rate, you're still gonna have an increase in the dollar volume of closed sales, or it's not gonna be relative to the, the same statistic as the average sales prices and things like that. So overall, a 44.2% decrease in the total dollar volume of homes sold on Oak Island. We're nearing the, the lowest level that we've seen since 2020 uh, pre-COVID numbers. So that is a huge drop in the total amount of real estate sold. So there's buyers out there waiting for homes if you've been thinking of selling a property. Next one we look at is the average showings to under contract property. That took a decrease of almost 60% at 59.3%. The average showings uh, for each home on the market that actually sold is five. So that means you got five buyers looking at a property before it goes under contract. That's still a historically low number and actually the lowest that we've seen in at least the past four years. Last one I wanna to touch on is the showings per listing. So these are properties that are active on the market. That took a 93.2% drop. So we're talking about activity. That's a huge drop where we're seeing a lot less showing activity on properties across the board. Now, of course, there's gonna be exceptions on that and there's gonna be some properties that absolutely explode and get an offset number. But again, this is the lowest numbers that we've seen on this stat for a long, long time. So that covers our 2023 year-end overview and review of the Oak Island real estate market. 
Now we're gonna get into my top three property picks. Real quick though, if you've set a goal for this year, we, we just rolled into 2024. So if you've got a goal this year to buy a property here on Oak Island, maybe it's a second home, maybe it's a retirement home, maybe it's a investment property. If you've got this goal this year, do me a favor, shoot me a text right now. You got my number on the screen here. Shoot me a text, let me know that you're coming out here or you're planning on buying a property here on Oak Island so we can get a game plan together and I can be keeping eyes out for your perfect property. But right now I wanna do a general overview on some properties that I'm really liking for sale right now on the island. For the first property pick, I've got a awesome waterfront option on the Intracoastal Waterway. 406 West Yacht Drive is on the market right now, just below 2 million at 1.999. It's a five bedroom, four bath house, just under 3,000 square feet. It's got an in-ground saltwater pool, hot tub, Property does have an elevator. What I really love about this though is having that pool on the Intracoastal Waterway. You've got a private dock, covered dock, floating dock, and a boat lift, so direct Intracoastal Water access. You've got awesome deck space on the property with elevated views of the Intracoastal Waterway, so you're gonna have amazing views day and night anytime you wanna be out there and you're getting the advantage of the laid back west side of the property but still just a few blocks off Middleton Avenue. So you've still got pretty easy beach access from that location. And I think they've done a, a stunning job uh, finishing this property. And at $679 a square foot, that may seem like it's a little on the higher end, but I think that's a great value for an intracoastal waterfront property. And you could have fun for days in this place. It's got a gorgeous kitchen inside, plenty of cabinet space and counter space and entertaining space. And the views from inside and out are just crazy with all the panoramic windows that they've put in and just taking full advantage of where you're at right there on the Intracoastal. So I love the window configuration on this property and taking those views. You've still got a lot of yard space as well. So there's really not much that I don't love about this property. Property number two is going to get you right down by the beach and also canal views of Davis Canal. 3720 East Dolphin Drive is on the market right now. It's a three bedroom, two bath house, just under a thousand square feet at 942 square feet. It's listed at 635,000, which is the best price you're going to find right now to get a property in the first few rows off the beach on Oak Island. This one's being advertised as a investor flipper special. So it needs, it does need some work and some sweat equity or, or maybe some TLC put into it, but that is a prime location. You're close to Middleton Park. You've got the canal view. You've got ocean views from the property. And so I love the location of it. I love that proximity to the, to the beach under 700,000. So I think that is definitely one to keep an eye on or consider if you're wanting to be as close to the beach, uh, but not spend an arm and a leg. The last property I wanna to highlight today is 339 Northeast 50th Street. So this is a two bedroom, one bath. Um, I love this property because it's, it's a little uh, bit of a more obscure type property. So I'd call this definitely an uh, investor opportunity. So you've got a almost an A-frame style home. And I love these smaller properties that you can really just embrace the difference that the property has. So it's not a cookie cutter house. So I think you could really do some cool stuff, embrace the unique style of property that it is, make it really beachy and turn this into an awesome Airbnb property or just a, a weekend getaway for yourself, second home at a great price. So it's priced at 325,000. It's on Northeast 50th street. So you're not too far off the Intracoastal waterway, so you've got access to some of the Intracoastal waterway docks and parks that are back there. Plus, with 50th Street, you got a, a straight shot down to the beach. You're close to a lot of restaurants, so I love the location and I love that entry price below 350,000 at 325,000. So I think with a little elbow grease and uh, or some remodel work, you could really make this a cool property, a unique property that crushes it as a short-term rental property or a really awesome place to come spend some time yourself out at Oak Island. All right, so in this video, we learned that the Oak Island market is holding strong in terms of property values. We saw big decreases in inventory and activity, 
but things are holding strong in terms of prices this year uh, for the past year 2023 so i hope you've enjoyed this update make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep track of the oak island real estate market throughout the year as i release the monthly market update videos and we got a lot of cool lifestyle videos coming out this year so hit that subscribe button appreciate you watching this video i hope you learned something again i'm brian and skip with surf homes nc and i will see you on the next one